Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. You know, you're going to hear a lot of vendors talking about how they can lower storage prices, especially given the current uh, market conditions and current environment in which we live. The problem is, if you look at how they could possibly lower storage prices, there's really only two ways that they can do it. One is they can wait for the hardware cost itself to come down, and then they can pass that savings on to you. They're not really lowering prices at that point. They're just leveraging the fact that somewhere in the channel, the price has been reduced. They're just essentially doing the right thing. The other option is they can make less money on the solution, which is, is good, I guess, but the problem is that might not lead to long-term viability for that company. At store one, we think about results. And so if the, if the desired result is to lower storage prices long term, then we have to do it differently than just waiting for hardware to come down in price and waiting or taking less margin on the product itself. Obviously, we run a very efficient company, so we think we can be very aggressive from those standpoints, but we've also fundamentally designed the software so it delivers the result of low cost, highly efficient storage. Here's how we do that. So most storage systems on the market today, let's say this is a, a flash uh, shelf of some sort, it will probably come with uh, 12 flash drives in it, or 24. Those drives uh, individually are generally nowadays rated somewhere between 200 and 400 IOPS per drive. The problem is, if you do the math on that, we're going to end up with, you know, technically around a million IOPS or some of some number of that that type. Well, the problem is they don't get anywhere close to that. They really only get the performance of two of those drives. So you're paying extra for performance that you can't even possibly uh, take advantage of, even if you had the applications that could use it. What we've done at Store One is we've rewritten the storage algorithms so that we can get full performance of the flash drives you install. Typically, we'll get 80 to 90% of the raw performance of the, of the drives that are in the system. So that means instead of using uh, 12 drives to get the desired result, we could do it in six drives. With our tiering technology, the rest of the data that's not active, we can move to a hard disk uh, tier or more commonly nowadays, this could be a QLC tier, and we can move data down there, and then you suffer no performance loss by pulling data from the uh, lower tier, because QLC with enough drives will perform almost as good as uh, NVMe or, or uh, TLC-based uh, flash in the upper tier. So it becomes a very compelling solution. We fundamentally have reduced the price uh, of the solution. The other thing is the servers that the software runs on, right? And so in our case and in most cases, you're going to load software on both of these uh, servers. And that software obviously is going to require CPU and RAM uh, from those servers. Again, because of our efficiency, we don't need the latest and greatest uh, servers up here. Uh, a mid-tier server in most cases is going to be more than enough for us to hit these high performance numbers. Again, we've rewritten the software from the ground up to be incredibly efficient. So the, the, the thing is, in 2020, it is not a race to get performance from the hardware. The hardware is, gives us plenty of performance. It is how can you effectively and efficiently use the performance that that hardware is able to deliver. So what happens in our world is because we're so efficient, we can deliver the same performance for significantly less money because we're just using less physical hardware. And so as, as, as a result, we just lower the cost uh, as an impact of that. Now the other thing that we do is most storage systems today are single use. Uh, you might use it for an Oracle environment or you might use it for a uh, Microsoft SQL environment or VMware. You, you probably also have a NAS out here somewhere. Because S1 is an enterprise storage platform, we can support multiple use cases. So instead of having a storage system for every single environment that I just mentioned, we can do all of that right from the platform. So for 
block, we can support fiber channel and iSCSI. For uh, NAS, we can support SMB and NFS. And also in the file category, we can support object via S3. So that gives us our file support. And that means what you're able to do now is from a single environment, same interface, everything, you can provide all the different services that you're, uh, you need to fulfill within your organization. So then the ability to provide all the services, do so on less hardware, then leads to the big gain of operational efficiency. So operational efficiency comes from the fact that all of this is driven from a single interface. You create, one person can deliver all of these different services to Oracle, Microsoft SQL, to VMware, to uh, deliver object storage to IoT devices, deliver uh, uh, SMB and NFS to users. So all of that works together and it allows you to uh, have a very simple and easy to use interface. It is not uncommon for us to provide our software to our customers or prospective customers and they're able to install it themselves or we can, with a little bit of help over the phone, they're able to get everything up and running. Uh, not too many storage systems can uh, be installed by the customer. Usually a team of engineers shows up. We can literally do it right over the phone, remote install. So a huge advantage for us. So if you're looking to truly reduce the cost of storage, both immediately and long term, the enterprise storage platform approach is absolutely the way to go because we require less hardware, we can provide all the different services, and we deliver operational efficiency. The, the impact is a significant reduction in the cost of storage. It is not uncommon at all when I talk to a customer or a potential customer that we're able to deliver a solution, hardware and software, that for a five-year solution is less than the cost that they're paying one year in maintenance. And so the, essentially what that happens is the next four years are free. So that's a huge cost savings that we can bring uh, to, the, to the customers and something really to consider. I'm George Crump. Thanks for joining us today.